Hangout Radio, powered by 92 Zoo and presented by Alexander Shinar and Associates. We prove it. And sponsored by Jenny King, GMFS Mortgage, Janino's Pizza, and Dias Construction and Development. Yes, I do. I have Young the Giant. Well, three of the members anyway. I'm sitting with Samir and Eric and Payam, and that would be the singer and the guitarist and the bassist. So uh, you're here. How long have you been for in town for? We Hang got out. in last night, late last night, and we were lucky to get in. Uh, with some crazy storms happening. Pretty bad storms. I heard. Is there any bands that you really want to see here that you see? You have you seen the schedule? Um, yeah. Well, Chance is playing tonight right after we finish. So try probably try to get over to see him and some uh, war paint probably too. That sounds like a good lineup. So um, you got the uh, new album, Home of the Strange. All right, and it's wonderful. I, I love the diversity in there. And you're, you led with the first single, America. And it really made me curious because it sounded almost like a love song, very, you know, chill and whatever. And it's spelled with a K. What's up with that? Can you explain that, Samir? Yeah, so uh, America with a K is after Kafka's uh, book called America. And uh, he wrote it uh, and actually never wanted it to be released. Um, and before he died, he actually told his friend that he never wanted him to release any of his stuff, but he ended up releasing it anyway. Um, and America was one of those stories, and it was essentially just a story of a stowaway kid from the, from Germany who who uh, comes to America and, and has an insane immigrant experience. And uh, that kind of, for us, was like the basic idea of the album in general, which is the immigrant story in America. Now, is what influenced the idea? Is it like all kind of a theme thing about the America or being strange in America? Yeah, I think I think for us, like, all of us have different backgrounds. You know, we come from different places, um, and we met in America, and we kind of all, you know, experience this feeling of being in between, you know, two different places, and that place is a strange place and a beautiful place. Um, yeah. Of like understanding America, you know, maybe. Uh, in a different light than some others may experience. Us, us three here are actually sons of immigrants, and then the other two guys in the band, Francois and Jacob, are uh, immigrants themselves. So I was it, just about to ask yeah. that. Um, now, you're from India, right? Uh, what about you, Eric? Italian and Jewish roots, actually. Yeah. Really? And My I parents are uh, Iranian. They're, pardon me? Iranian, Persian. Oh, okay. Uh, so this whole thing going on Muslim ban and all that are you guys experiencing any um, issues going to the airports or anything uh, not necessarily you know we we live in West Los Angeles a very for the most part liberal place so as far as our flying experiences go um, you know I think we kind of just breeze through the airport we're pretty well traveled and kind of know what's going on um, but yeah I, I don't it, we haven't really experienced it so much firsthand recently since the travel ban but I have a lot of friends who've been affected uh, with like weddings and their family want to come from Middle East and they can't come if to delay the wedding and all this stuff. So, yeah. yeah. And it's just also just even traveling the country and going like to smaller towns and different places. It's interesting because we we play shows and we're in a rock band and so it, you kind of attract like a, a different group of people who aren't going to be there to try and discriminate against you. Right. Uh, but you know there are like certain things where we we'll play college campuses or near college and they'll be like there's strikes happening right now. You know in college you shouldn't even go there because brown so you know it's this kind of like a, a, a thing that is always there but it's always a weird thing for us because we are musicians and we do like uh, walk this line and get to do these things that maybe our peers might not um, so I think that's a, an advantage and disadvantage to being a musician it's great songwriting influence right yeah, it is <laughs> now uh, Eric can you want to tell us how did you come across the name young the giant because uh, you were the Jakes before I heard about that. And um, a yeah, the, the name change came when we uh, got signed in 2009. Um, we decided to change the name, and honestly, the story behind the name was that we were all young, and we wanted to have the word young in our, in our band name, so we were throwing around different ideas, and we had the young this, the young that, and Samir threw the the in the middle, and giant at the end and kind of stuck and uh, yeah it's you know it's it's a bit of a weird name but it's funny how when we 
changed the name, we thought that it was uh, unique to have the the in the middle. And then we started touring and we started meeting all these peers of ours, colleagues, and we're like, oh, cool, Portugal the man, Faust the people, minus the bear, hey, what's up? Oh, Page of the lion, oh, hey, okay. So it's like all of the bands with the the in the middle ended up becoming friends and also ended up kind of, a lot of them starting out around the same time. Not starting out, but being around and playing festivals around the same time. So it was actually pretty yeah. funny. Foster it the People, Cage Elephant, Cage Portugal the, Elephant, the Man, yeah. all friends of ours. Oh, that's funny. It, those are actually very memorable names to hear. Yeah. I mean, Young the <laughs> Giant. Because so. <laughs> then it makes people wonder, Cage the Elephant, why? Yeah. But they yeah. you know, got the story that. one's kind of like saying something, though. It's like put an elephant in a cage. Uh -huh. Ours is kind of like a little bit more confused, I'd say. <laughs> Actually, Matt, to Matt told us that it was from like a homeless man that kept walking around saying, cage the elephant, cage the elephant, cage the elephant. So I thought that'd be a great name for their band. That's good. That's <laughs> We're awesome. talking with Young the Giant, and they're about to play today at Hangout Festival with Hangout Radio and 92 Zoo. Um, can you tell me the influence of the song uh, Silver Tongue? Yeah, um, you know, as a band, we've we've always tried to get out of our comfort zone as songwriters and, and do something different. And um, the idea was to you know to have a song that was kind of a party song. We we, we tend to um, our, our favorite musicians are the ones who are very serious, and we we tend to can we can be serious sometimes. We wanted to be able to have a song that was kind of a little lighthearted, but still have um, some depth to it. You know, it's the idea that. In this modern day and age, if you have a silver tongue, if you can talk your way through anything, you can kind of get out of any situation that you find yourself in. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's kind of like a just a, a fun little thing to have a, a character who, who feels like he can, he's a smooth talker and can kind of get his way through everything. Very nice. Young the Giant. And I really like how you uh, incorporated it. It's almost like a Motown sound in, in there. And I mean, it just fascinating. It's like a Motown soul alternative. Uh, yeah. Do you always do stuff like that, or is that just something that you thought to do because you lived in Michigan once? It's <laughs> it's <laughs> been a big part of our our sound. I mean, our sound is that we don't have a sound. I think, um, you know, the first album found its way um, through a lot of, <clears throat> you know, honing in on like what that was when we were eighteen and nineteen. And but before that, we were writing soul songs or like trying to, and that was just kind of a part of our repertoire. You know. Uh, Eric had always, you know, been into blues guitar and, and jazz by, you know, by extension, soul and jazz. And that we had, we always were obsessed with the backbeat in our songs, and um, that kind of took different forms uh, throughout the different albums. And uh, we continue to try and like just do weird stuff, and it's great because our fans are like, they understand that Young the Giant is a, it's not like one sound. Our sound is that we we will try and do something different and surprise. So it's great. Eric, what are some of your uh, influences as far as bass playing? Do you have like a bass player's favorite bass players? My favorite bass player is <laughs> Miami Deuce today, the bass <laughs> player the bass of our player, band. But uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're uh, good. I'm just kidding. No, right. you're, you're good. I mean, Eric, do you want to talk about your favorite oh. bass players? Or no, no, no. I, 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 my favorite bass player <laughs> sitting right next to no, us. <laughs> uh, myself, well, uh, I mean. Who's the, your favorite guitarist? I mean, the, the, the obvious one of my favorite <laughs> bass players. I switched it on you. Um, you know. Jameson is always like classic bass player. I mean, that's what we're talking about, you know, soul, Motown. He's really responsible for that Motown sound. As far as current bass players that are alive, uh, Pino Palladino, amazing bass player, and Joe Dart from the band Wolfpack is my favorite right now because he's just so much fun to listen to. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Well, what about uh, any of you, guitarist Eric? No. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Lou Reed and Robert Fripp, and uh, nowadays, um, Kevin Parker from Tame Impala, um, Danny Rawson from Grizzly Bear, more more current current bands that I'm Blake a Mills. big fan of. Um, Blake Mills as well. Um, yeah, so those are a few. I was just curious. Oh. Right now. What about you, Samir? <laughs> singers? Are your influences? In terms of singers? Uh, singers. Uh, yeah. I mean, I always like grew up uh, with Michael Jackson around the house. Uh, Freddie Mercury, just because I. He's also part Indian, which most people don't know. Um, so that was something. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, recently, man, I'm trying to think. I mean, uh, Tom York is one of my favorites, just in terms of his his melodies and his phrasing. I love I love it. So. Uh, yeah, you definitely have a beautiful voice. I mean, something to believe in is such a 
it gets burned in your brain. It's like one of those earbug songs. It's like so. It's just amazing how you guys meld together. Um, I also, so I've read that Salon article that you wrote. Oh, it's thank very you. poignant. I love it. And thank I you. highly recommend, look for uh, Samir Salon. He's, he's a really good writer and it really says, says a lot. So I really appreciate that. And um, I saw that you went to Stanford, Stanford University, mm -hmm. and studied human biology. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> but <laughs> I never finished. I never finished. So. We we were wondering when you're. Do you ever sit around and watch those shows like Grey's Anatomy and the medical shows and say that is so <laughs> right I, or wrong or are they right? You know, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm like not an expert at all. And to be honest, like it's so funny that you know human biology is so based on uh, rote memorization that if you don't do it for a while, then you just kind of like forget stuff. And, but I, I you know, I do, and I, I, I did human biology, but I don't think I ever had the intention of being a doctor, uh, but it was something that was interesting to me, um, like being able to combine the, bio the biology of p humans and how they, they respond to certain things in culture and, and, and music as well. So that was one of the reasons why I liked it, yeah. Did you guys go to college? Where did you go to college? I went to Long Beach State for about four months and graduated undeclared. <laughs> undeclared. And then went to the <laughs> College of Life. Right on. Paya? I briefly oh, we went to UC San Diego and studied engineering briefly. <laughs> so we got some educated guys. Well, it's Young <laughs> the Giant. And uh, thank you guys so much for coming by the studio. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Eric thank you. and uh, Samir and Payam. That's right. It's Hangout Radio, and this is 92 Zoo.